we live in an age when it comes to American soccer, and in particular when it comes to um, the men's game, where we see Europe as the pinnacle. We see Europe as the place that every player should want to be and, and, and to be quite honest, where a lot of people believe that we should want them ultimately to be. And while there are wonderful opportunities, I've said this before and I think it bears repeating, if your only goal is to either as a player or as a fan of a player or as a fan of the game is to be in Europe, there are flights leaving every hour on the hour. Okay, But what we see is usually the success stories and the big, sexy names, money, big, uh, big teams. What we don't see are where it doesn't go well. We don't often see it. And to be quite honest, th- there's a whole lot more where it doesn't go well. And it could be for a number of different reasons. And it might not even have to do with how good you are as a soccer player. And, you know, I say that because, you know, for example, James Sands, who, uh, you know, was a big timer when it came to Major League Soccer, uh, playing for NYCFC, a uh, national team player, realized his dream of going over to Europe and went to Rangers. And he played sporadically. And I think you would look back on it not as a, from a soccer perspective, a successful time in Europe. We come to find out he is coming back uh, to NYCFC and back to Major League Soccer. And it's easy to look at that as a, a step down, or it's easy to look at that simply as a failure. Now, there's so much else that goes on when you go and play overseas than just the actual kicking of the ball. And he might have had a wonderful time and really relished his time over there. But from a soccer perspective, he, he would have written it very, very differently. And that's why I say it's so important that if you can, and beggars can't be choosers sometimes, if you can, to be able to take a step back and say, is this right for me? Is this the right time for me to go? Is this the right place for me to go? And all of those different things come into play. Am I in an environment where I'm going to play? Am I in an environment where I can adapt to the culture? That includes the language, and that includes the 22 and a half hours that don't have to do with actually playing the game. Or am I married? Do I have a significant other? Do I have kids, all that kind of stuff. How are they going to be uh, impacted on the field? And so the grass is not always greener when it comes to just simply going to, uh, going to Europe. And he might have another opportunity uh, later on, and there might be reasons why it didn't go well for him in this you know, venture over there, uh, over there in Europe. But there's plenty of other players. And if and when they come back, They might be coming back to a better environment. They're certainly coming back, to your point, to a better league relative to what it was 5, 10, 20, and let's be honest, 30 years ago, uh, right before uh, it started. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing that they have an opportunity to come back to a league that is still going to test them, that is still going to make them better. And there is nothing that, that I see that just because a player doesn't go to Europe, uh, that me, that, that says that they can't develop and they can't evolve and they can't become better playing day in and day out uh, in Major League Soccer. And that doesn't preclude them from going over to Europe, but it's just got to be the right place. And there might even be cases where you take a step back by going over there to Europe. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.